and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I don't need counter spells to whoop you with blue. This deck is cheap. It doesn't require too many rare wild cards, and it doesn't actually counter any spells, despite that being Mono Blue's whole reputation. And part of it is the reputation. It preys on people expecting counter spells. They play differently against Mono Blue. But all we're going to do is use a little phasing and a little shore up, because I've kind of found that this deck struggles when it's trying to answer the opponent's cards and instead when we just kind of play our threats and protect them we are able to pull off wins so that's what we're going for here we're bringing in ledger shredder as a cheaper creature to play delver mm. ledger shredder Mm. I found Ledger Shredder so much better than Delver in this deck, it's not even funny. Maybe it's just because I can never flip a Delver on turn two, but that card is really not for me in this kind of build. This also continues the cycle that I'm trying to do where I play a deck built around the uncommon cycle from Brothers War that lets you use basic lands, basically rewards you. Ha, basically. Rewards you for playing basic lands. Flow of Knowledge is that card for blue. It lets you draw a card for each island you control, then discard two cards. So we've got 20 basic islands, and we got Flow of Knowledge to draw a whole bunch of cards, which is the fun little mid-game reset that often pushes this deck over the top and makes sure you always have more and more combat tricks to foil your opponent's plans. I think you'll be surprised by how well this deck does. Just a reminder, if you missed the outro with stats, you can hit the decklist link in the description that will take you to the untapped GG profile page or you can see more statistics you can copy the deck list and you can see revisions that i made along the way so feel free to check that out and thank you as always to everybody for enjoying the videos you're cool now let's dive in let the mono blue nonsense begin i don't know about this hand obviously we're not going to play the terror anytime soon so the hand doesn't actually do anything this is better we got a ledger shredder uh, i think we can put away the march Try to draw into that later. Opponent giving a serious mono black vibes and then ta-da, it's a plains. Master of manipulation. We'll take one land. One more land is fine. There's a flow. Uh, yeah, let's go right for the shredder. Against mono white. If they snap off a lay down arms, that's fine. Less that our Jin has to deal with. People don't always get afraid of the Shredder. Ooh. I mean, we could just try to curve right out. What do they want to do for three? Well, they don't want to play a removal spell, that's for sure. Let's go for it. If they're going to play Mono White Value... They might have Lay Down Arms, but they're not casting it on Haughty Jin this turn because of the Reliquary. Yeah, they're doing value -y stuff. Oh, this is great for us. Shore up. Uh, let's toss a Consider. We'll take that island because of the Flow of Knowledge. Let's attack. Let's cast this uh, Shore up, untap the Haughty Jin, deal more damage, connive. Still saving the slip out the back for board wipes and things of that nature. Coming at me. Maybe they just want to draw with the announcement. Maybe they have tricks. We'll find out. If they use an Aganjo here, we have slip. A depopulate. Resto Iganjo is fine. Doesn't scare me one bit. Hopefully Flow goes right into the cards we need to end the game. Just draw a huge chunk of our deck. They need something here. They have enough now for like a lay down arms. Ossification. All right, let's find protection. We did. We did find protection. I don't think we have enough for lethal now. We need one more spell in our graveyard. Actually, we do. Wah! 
perfect. Smooth. A 9-6. It's nice, but upside down. They, they're looking the wrong way. We go first. This hand plays Jin on curve. That's pretty good. Mono red. Okay. See if they have ways to kill Jin on curve. Ooh, Fading Hope's nice. Very good if they play a 3-3 three, three creature here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boing. More of that seems good. Basically, you have to look at Shore Up like a Vigilance spell so that you can attack and block. And against Mono Red, it's very important. Here they come. And no blocks here because we can't protect our Jin. All right, we can guess that they have a lightning strike or a play with fire, but not to play with fires and not both, or they might have just killed this. All right, impulse. No land. That's awkward. Um, Terror is a really good card, though, and I think we'll get there. But we could get to a shredder this turn, but then we don't have shore up open. Let's grab the Terror gonna be a while before we get it but when we do it'll be good important to pressure the whole way and to fill the graveyard they saw me burn the shore up they should be prepared for this Okay, no effects from the opponent. They waited until the damage was actually dealt. Now they might respond with another one. They, I don't think they had it last turn, or if they did, they were just greedy. All right, we get two removal spells from them. Care to try again? I think that they have to cast they have to like get the swift spear pumped first so i think we'll have this opportunity to do this which is pretty mean march is great they might have an end the festivities nope here's the terror dead next turn didn't even have shredder in this game but we were on the play which made a big difference but you can see the mono the matchup with mono red not too shabby one two three wait cancel we have to get rid of all our blockers one two three Easy. Didn't even need to draw a flow. And definitely didn't need any counter spells. In fact, that is a matchup where counter spells are usually very bad. They're too reactive, and the mono red deck just has a bunch of cheap threats anyway. So better to outmaneuver them on the board. Well, this is on the play, which is great. It's definitely a shredder hand. So we'll keep it and hopefully be able to protect our shredder. Let's see what we're up against. Whether or not we play it on turn two. Looks like we're playing on turn two because that's a rot priest. Uh, all right. So we have to race rot priest. We can't do too much about them without targeting them. Okay. Two spells here. It's not going too well, but I guess we say go and we try to ambush the singer or the priest sentry sure so we could use the march here if we use the march then this phases out and just never gets to take anything if we use the shore up then they don't attack i mean march can kind of shut off the attack anyway but i think i might want to do another shore up this turn 
This is really good though for like vigilance and we're not using it in that way here. Maybe it's just better to do this. I hate the poison, I really do. Oh my goodness. We're flooding out so badly in our 20 land deck. We've, we've only drawn land since the keep. That is the kind of thing you can't control. And when it happens, honestly, you feel like a victim. You just feel like you got victimized by some real BS. That's, that's what I'm feeling right here. No kidding. Okay, let's see. How big does that make this? Five. So we have to draw a non-land card and then just discard it. Oh, another shore up. Well, three, five. It's not enough, is it? Four, six. Yeah, if we discard the land, we don't get the counter. Okay. Impulse. What the hell? Four shore ups. Nine lands. I'm... I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I'm a mind blown, but hey, we drew into the serpent. Let's get that on the field. Let's hold this land for the ledger shredder. I got a contaminator, but nothing the size of the terror. Ooh, ooh, ooh. maybe we're not done quite yet. Gotta clock them. Gotta get this game over with, but we've used all the shore ups. So no more tricky vigilance. There's a hive. They all have lifelink. Gotta do this. We're lucky though. They did not have a way to save it, but they do have another one, but we have another one. Where's flow? We need flow. Come on flow. Nope. Oh my goodness. Every. Every land is going to be in the graveyard, man. We're, we're drawing every land in our deck right now. Every single one. It's, it's close, right? It's so close. We're at five poison and 16 life. I think we just got to go here, but they, ha they have life link. Oh, they have life link and they all get plus one plus one. Mm -hmm. Do we have to block? This attacks gets plus one. We block, we kill it. This block, block, block. We we have to, I think we have to stay home. We can't, we can't race this. If they get good attacks on us, they will win. And they just threw their third blow to Contaminator. I have gone through so much garbage. Oh my God. I can't find a flow. I need one very badly. Fading hope. Okay. I, this sucks, but goodbye, Jin. We kind of needed you. So there's a poison counter, but this has to go. Does it go now? Are they going to flash back the fading hope? They can't. Seven poison. Another ledger shredder. It doesn't draw cards. We've got to draw flow. Like we have to draw something that reloads our hand and we've been through more than half our deck. No. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So more than half the lands in the deck. And then we put three on the bottom. <laughs> and that's in the top 25. What a joke. What an absolute joke nightmare of a game. <laughs> Ah! Shuffler, why are you like this? 
What is the freaking matter with you? This is the kind of hand you actually want on the draw. You'd love to replace one of the shredders with a fading hope, but otherwise, like, you really need to go turn two, problematic creature, turn three, problematic creature, untap with one of them, then protect it. Slip is okay. And the opponent, they might not... I mean, do we play our ledger shredder here? Yeah, because then we're, they kill it. They play, We play one next turn, too. They kill that. Maybe we protect it with slip. Or we play Jin the next turn and protect that with slip. Just run them out of their stuff. Here's their fable. Here's the shredder. Are we going to flood again? My ratio of one out of every three cards is a land has been eclipsed by... More than more than half the deck is land. That is the way that the shuffler is treating us. All right, it's not a shieldred. It is very annoying. Okay. Another slip is pretty good. So we play our Jin, we pass. Edict? Sure. What else you got? Just that. As long as we get to flow, we'll be fine. Although, Reflection's a kiki-jiki, very frustrating card. Ooh, that is a March. March can mess him up. I guess we'll see what we can see. No instance from the opponent. Did you catch that? I saw that. Okay, they're a blade coiler. And they want haste and me to discard one card. Okay. They draw a card? I didn't see them draw the card. I'm kind of confused. All right, here it comes. So we want to phase out this and this. Well, if they attack with both, that's fine. Like, what's what are they going to do for one mana that actually messes with me? Not much. So we just submit zero, phase that. They're thinking about it. Think how bad they really want one treasure and one eat your grieve. But they don't. Fading Hope, very good for whatever they want to target with that reflection. Could also just target this now. But now nah, let's dig. This is where you get your cards on. Nice to have another march. Yep. And again. Take them down to 15. What you got? Phase again, huh? So this time we could bounce it, make them replay it. If they make me discard, like they don't have any blue. They appear to just be Rakdos. They don't have any blue. It's a very expensive play for them to make, but then they do just have free reign to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Remember, they didn't have any sorceries. Really want to draw another flow. Really, really, really. We spent all those cards. I guess I need to save this to protect my Jin because we're out of protection spells now. I was gonna uh, Fading Hope on upkeep for the Scry to try to hit a flow. See, right now they can't cast an Invoke Despair because of the double mountains, which is the main reason we're okay with doing that. 
But they still might have a spot removal and try to use it on the Jin on my turn. Frasca. Okay, you're going to proliferate and draw? Uh, yeah, you can't treasure anything. Okay, that's, that's sweet. We can attack her to death, but I'm probably just going face and you're tapped out. Now I can do the upkeep thing if I can get the stop down. Ooh, but wait. I'd have to bounce the reflection, or I could draw my card, bounce the trespasser, win. I think that's an easy choice. <laughs> now that I actually use my brain. Right? This is the only blocker. Actually, they were just dead, weren't they? <laughs> There's the flow. <laughs> as long as we had a spell. No? Any. We, they were just dead on board. They just left themselves dead on board to the face attack. Well, take them. Always kind of hard to outmaneuver those uh, graveyard trespasser decks, but there it is. On the play, we'll keep the impulse hand. The slips, we'll see if if and when those are useful. Hopefully the opponent's not too fast. Okay. They might be the fastest ever. Oh, there's a shredder. Okay. Shredder is good. If we don't draw a land, though, we're going to have to impulse for one, which might mean... Uh, we'll see. Might mean we don't get to activate the Shredder. This is why you need the card, though. You need this turn two board presence. That was the big thing I found missing in the deck, and cards like Mercurial Spell Dancer and a bunch of other blue cards are just like two ones for one, you know? They're just kind of bad. Ah, the double spell for me is for me. Another Shredder? Don't think I need this many slips, but thank you for my 2-4. I do appreciate you. Do you think they'll double spell again? Let's find out. Okay, important card to think about here is end the festivities. They want this and this block because it looks obvious, but they can kill both shredders. So I'm not going to risk the 1-3, and I'm going to put the 2-4 here and force them to use a play with fire or a lightning strike. Don't give up your stuff to end the frickin' festivities, man. This is clearly the version of the deck that has like a million one-drops. I wonder who played that. Oh, we sack in for cards? Maybe. I have taken damage. The Pit Fighter is active. They can sack their Epicure for two cards. They discard a Chick and they draw. Yeah, Chick not looking too good, is it? All right, so we want to activate the Ledger Shredders on opponent's turn. So we play this land, we say go. Because we can impulse into slip for double Shredder activation, which should lead us into Terror next turn. Hopefully I don't have to discard the Flow. So this time we can do these things. Patience. There it is. Add the read. All right, there's a Jin. There's also another terror. I mean, you just take Jin's here, right? It's, it's the card. Connive, connive. And the festivities is a sorcery. Now, if they have two of them, it might get bad, but that's why we're phasing out the weaker one. But hmm. I guess they both have one toughness. Maybe it should have been the one with the counter. Oh, wait, that's another trigger. I, okay, so one of them will die, but here we go. The land is useful. The flow is slow, but let's take the impulse here. There's that. All right, two lands here. Would love another plus one, plus one counter. Do I actually drop the flow, though? I guess I'll drop the terror. They got one of them. What else would you like this stack to look like? Okay. Oh, I wish I had known which connive that was. I would have discarded the land. All right, can you play with fire to kill it? Scamp. Nope. All right. Four, six coming through. Five, four. Let's just hold this back. If 
mono red can't deal us damage they can't win six toughness too much that's game yay mono red it wasn't completely clean i should not have discarded that Jin to a connive trigger for a ledger shredder that was dead CGP is going down to play magic with the best. If you want to join the party, then get down to command fast. One and go! One, one, one and go!